What's up? I'm Britt Burton, and you're watching Beta Records TV. And today we're here with a band all the way from Australia, The Boat People. Guys, thanks so much for coming. Thanks for having us. Yeah, thank you. And how long have you guys been together? Uh, I can't remember. Who can answer that question accurately? I yeah, I don't know. Because possibly. Because <laughs> as as a band, we've been together for a while. But like James and Charles, I like I went to primary school with them. We grew up in like a little country town, um, and it was it was very isolated in terms of like music. So. It was a real, you know, when we were kids, it was a real AM radio kind of vibe. We pretty much had to leave town to get gigs because there, there weren't that many gigs happening in Warwick, the town we were from. We had to drive two hours to Brisbane to um, It was like to about 10,000 people. So what's it like being in the US? Do you guys come here a lot? We've been here a few times over the past nine months or so, and we really enjoy it. In October last year, we came out uh, for CMJ in New York, and then we we're here again for South by Southwest in Austin. So... And this kind of trip's just grown out of um, some of the stuff we were doing in Austin and people wanting to see us play again. How was playing South by Southwest? Amazing. Yeah, it was, really it was amazing. crazy. That was our first time there. So we weren't quite the program nerds that we should have been, you know, like everyone else was there with their highlighters and like their printouts. There was actually a, a kind of junket, I suppose you'd call it, of Australian bands over there. So it was kind of really fun touring with all our friends. It's, it's so much harder touring in Australia than in the US or the UK. You know, coming out here for us... You, you get on a plane and you tr fly like 12, 14 hours to get to LA from, um, from Brisbane in Australia. And that's about the same for us as like getting in the car in Australia and driving from Brisbane to Sydney. So Wow. Yeah. So when you tour in Australia, it's not really get in the van, stop here, stop there. It's more drive forever. Stop. Yeah. It's like every town is a road, big, you know, road trip. You guys like, recently released your sophomore album, which was Chandeliers. Mm -hmm. Have you guys ever been signed or with all your albums, do you release them independently? Yeah, we've been independent the whole time. Which has been and how's that been, being an independent band? Do you think it's harder, or do you like having the full creative control? It seems to me it's when you meet people who really believe in your band and want to do something for it, whether they're kind of just operating out on their lonesome or they're part of a big company. Because over here, we've, you know, we're signed uh, with a publishing company that's part of Warner and everything. But have you guys have any placements through your publishing company? Yeah, yeah. One of our tracks, Panic, was on um, the new 90210. What's it like performing? Do you guys like that better or do you like being in the studio and writing and recording? I swing from one to the other, but I think generally I like playing live. You know, if the gig is going well and you're doing a good tour, I reckon there's nothing better. After our first record came out, it was um, a, m a lot more chilled out than our new stuff. and. It went really well, but we had the experience of touring it and kind of wanting to have more fun with the songs and not being able to because they were quite chilled out. And so for the next record, rather than writing it for the studio, we really wrote it imagining playing all those songs live to people and everyone having a great time. And how do you go about picking what songs you want to put on your album? Ooh, that's really hard. I'll tell you when we've done it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Punching each other. After huh. we've had lots of arguments Do you guys fight fights. about it? Oh, heaps, yeah. So I think uh, Bono from U2 said, the only things that a band should ever break up over are the songs that they put on their album. Are you choosing that? So you guys on iTunes, do you have a MySpace that fans can check you out on? Of course, yeah. MySpace slash The Boat People. And yeah, iTunes is good for our music. Whether they be dream or reality, 